channel my name is Rayanne um, I want to share that this is my first time doing a video like this I'm not new to YouTube but I am new to this type of video so what I wanted to share with you is my spooky hutch back there behind me and what I did so this year we're doing a witchy theme so my whole goal was trying to make the house feel like a witch actually lives here possibly and all the apothecary and all the spookiness that comes with it um, just to share why I'm doing this video, I love watching everyone else's creativity and the seeing the ideas and the inspiration and what people do and I know it helps me and I enjoy it so I'm hoping me sharing what I do can help give a little bit of inspiration out there and creative, creative ideas so hopefully you like and if you do please hit the like button so I know because again this is new and let's get to see what I did. Get my spooky out. All right, so my next project is gonna be my hutch. So I cleared it off, cleaned it off, and now it's getting dirty again. I am you gonna make this into a witch's situation. And my doggie wants to say hi. Hi, Dodger. Hi. So what I'm gonna do is use just some cardboard. I've been cutting and measuring. Just to give it a different look, I wanna put some moss on it as a little spooky backdrop. I don't know if I'm gonna do the bottom one. We'll see, cause I might be putting some food stuff here. I don't know yet. We'll see, but I'm definitely gonna do these top two. Um, so let's see how that goes. All right, so what I've been doing is cutting and measuring and the cardboard, and you know what? Any cardboard, really, big piece of cardboard will work. I don't care that it has all these because I'm gonna be covering it up with moss anyways, but that is my progress, and so far, so good. All righty, ready to craft. Now, I have my cutout measured cardboard piece. Got some spray adhesive, got some dollar store, the dry moss, and 99 cent store actually had this this year, some little green moss to add just a little bit for color. I'm doing this inside. I'm probably gonna regret that, but I'm only, let me move this chair out of the way, actually, I don't want that. I'm only spraying a little at a time. So just some spray adhesive. All right, let's figure this out. Just little bits at a time. Or not. Oh. Oh wow, that does go everywhere. All right, let's do this quick. All right. I don't know why I thought doing this inside was a good idea, but um, it's a little bit messy. But I live in Southern California, so it's hot outside. So that was one bag. I didn't use all of it. And I just patted it on and all the little pieces as well, just to stick. And it actually looks pretty good. I don't think I want to use the green, the brighter green. I kind of like the spooky of just the dead moss. Okay, so let's test this out. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. oh shiznit, there goes dust. Not so bad. All right, let's see what happens when we bring it over. It's gonna go there. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Hopefully I can get a snug fit. There we go. And it doesn't have to be completely, completely covered. Because there's going to be a bunch of stuff here too with some green lighting. So it should be just enough for a spooky vibe. At least that's what I'm hoping. Make sure it stays on. Uh-oh. 
I might have to fix that. Okay. Yeah, just a little messy. Okay, the more as I'm doing it, definitely, definitely make sure you push down on it to make sure all oh, as much as possible sticks. And what's cool, there's some twigs in here. I'm actually really digging this. All right. Here it is. The spooky vibes. I'm digging it. And then once everything in front of it with the lighting, it should hopefully work out really good. You know, I was thinking, you know the green moss? People call that a live wall. So do I call this a dead wall? Ha ha ha. Okay, I cracked myself up. Um, all right, so clean up mode. I got a bunch of it all over the table, of course. Now, I don't know what you guys use, but I use this, so I guess it's by Shark. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Did I mention I love it? Okay, so here it is all done. I didn't get a chance to record as I was decorating, but let me walk you through the space. So this right next to the hutch is my fridge, and on top of the fridge we have this new guy. Um, he's on a riser. I just covered up a brown box and with some black fabric to give him some height. Now this is the Witches Lair Apotheke sign that I think I believe I got last year at Michael's. And I try to add a lot of little spooky details. So we have some changing portraits that I thought would fit a witch scene. There in the middle is a star of the show that once upon a time was a bat, an actual live bat um, that I have there. There's some mice in a jar, some creepy hands. I filled in a lot of the stuff with um, all that's mossy, but instead of the dry moss, I that's actually a couple of picks from Michael's that looks like moss, which I thought was safer if I was gonna have fooder on the hutch on the bottom. There's some bugs in a frame. We got some apothecary jars. Some of these are really old that I've had for years, years, years. Some are new that I've just collected. Um, that's a new witch book. I think I got that at Michael's this year. Some other creepy portraits. And of course, I love my old silver trays. Use some creepy cloth, lighting, candles, some crows. I did use those green, those there's three green candles on that shelf. It's actually the candles that change colors. Thought that was a nice little touch um, for subtlety. That's a new snake jar. I think I got that at home this year. Some of these are really old. Like I said, that one I've had for many, many years. I don't even know where I got that from. Um, the one in the middle is new this year from Michaels with, with the um, jewels. Some bones. So just threw a lot of things together, layered, raised some of them. Filled it in with moss just to make it Okay, sweet. so back to these strip of lights. I just wanted to show you something. So <clears throat> originally I had gotten puck lights, which is on this side of the hutch. And this side has the strip. Can you, let me back up. Can you tell the difference in the quality of the light? Like, I don't know if the pick camera's pick, picking it up. Like, they, I guess on camera it looks both cool, but... There's just a major difference. The strip is more vibrant and it has the color changing where this is just very, very subtle. So I guess it depends what look you want, but I love that it's on a remote because like, watch, look at the difference with that. It's just so dark. Now you can see the puck light a little bit better. It's changing, it's subtle, so I guess it does the job. Those are battery operated, also have a remote where these ones are um, rechargeable. I don't remember if I said that already. And I've used them a few times and they work pretty good. In fact, I even used them here. Let me turn this off under my cabinetry in my kitchen. Oh my gosh. Look at that. And we got light. Now watch my coffee bar. We got light. 
So they do regular lights, white lights also, but you can use them for, you know, seasonally for the color. And I love it. I get, they're not sponsored or anything. I'm just saying when I like something, I share the love and I really love these. So I will post the link where I got them. All right, one thing I do have to share and give props to is the backdrop idea with the moss that I got, that I did, actually got inspired from Midge Munster. If you don't follow her, you should. She's so cool. So many creative ideas. This was a witchy theme. I think she did last year, if I'm not mistaken. And I loved the concept, so I kind of pulled that and then kind of added my own spooky touches to it and just rolled with it. So just sharing the love. Well, if you're still here, thanks so much for watching. I hope you found a little bit of inspiration in the video somewhere. And if you did, please share in a comment. Let me know what was it you liked. Would you like to see more of these videos? Again, I'm new to this, so I greatly appreciate the feedback of liking if you did and subscribing if you did. So I know. Well, thanks again for watching. And I will be doing a home tour video too, showing all the rest all the rest of my spookiness and what I did. All right. Thanks, guys.